everybody, welcome to today's masterclass. I'm going to crack on and get going. Other people can join as we are going along. But we're going to focus in on today how to unlock your full potential to create an experience that is guaranteed to change your life. So some house rules. Many of you know that I am a gifted dyslexic, so unfortunately it is a bit deaf by PowerPoint, but <laughs> there's no other way around it. I have to have slides to remember the amount of information I need to share with you. So if you notice spelling mistakes, please, you know, come with compassion, come with love, let it go. It is what it is take notes as we're going along. I will be asking you questions. You can pop questions in the video below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Let's get going. Are you going around in circles? Days feel a bit like Groundhog Day. They feel heavy and you find yourself watching life just going by but you are working incredibly hard but you're finding that you are not getting any traction not getting any momentum it doesn't seem to matter what you do you're still getting the same results day in and day out does that sound familiar you haven't been able to move the needle in your business or your personal life and you often feel overwhelmed, disillusioned and unfulfilled and have a sense of being well and truly stuck. But in your heart, you know that there is something else, that you are missing something, that if you just knew what that ingredient was to get you unstuck and back on track, things would snowball and move very quickly. But what is it that you need to do to be able to get out of your own way and to be able to unlock that key to your full potential? Well, I have designed a not strategy, not process. It is a way of living a bit like if you're a vegetarian, you eat vegetarian food. This is a practice that I do daily to help me to stay in my full potential all of the time. So I'm going to share that with you today, which is really exciting. Would you like to quickly put your finger on the pulse and know exactly what is getting in your way and to be able to clear it quickly. Would you like to know exactly what it is that you need to do to get into momentum and make a bigger impact and rapidly move forward and to be able to do that for yourself? So self-coaching plays a key role in the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox and you can use that on a daily basis to help you identify what's getting in your way and how you can navigate your way around it. It is phenomenal. Would you like to get out of your own way and live a more connected, fulfilled and an impactful life? If you do, then you're absolutely in the right place and it's really great to have you here. So before I get going, let me know. I would be really interested to know because I'm doing some research at the moment for a book it is that I'm going to be releasing in December of 2021 called Be More Wolf and that is to help women thrive regardless of circumstances. So let me know in the chat box below what are some of the things that stop you from achieving the success or what it is that you want to do. What do you think is keeping you stuck? So a lot of people will have negative self-talk that's playing out, which they're not able to manage. That takes over and it stops them from doing what it is that they want to achieve. Let me know in the chat box below. That would be absolutely brilliant if you could do that. 
So the reason why I'm here today is because I see way too many women, and this was including myself, pedaling painfully fast, but not where I wanted or you want to be. They spend a lot of time getting in their own way. Now this can show up in lots of different ways, but one thing is for sure, it doesn't matter how many courses they invest in, how much training they invest in, how many coaches they invest in. It's an inner game rather than an external game. We can only create a different experience if we are blocked to such a degree that we have to go internally and explore and find a way to navigate what it is that's been holding us back. So a lot of this is unconscious. It is, there are things that are playing out in the background that we have absolutely no awareness of at all. But what I'm gonna teach you, what I'm gonna show you is how you can bring the unconscious into the conscious and create a new belief system, create a new way of doing things so you can actually get some momentum and some movement very quickly. So as I said, it will show up in lots of different ways, but one thing is for sure, it won't matter what they invest their time, money and energy into, nothing can change this until they start to look inwards and take a closer look at what has really been stopping them. So just think about your own situation for a second. Have you, are you trying to achieve something and yet you, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what course you invest in, what coach you've invested in, what training you've invested in, you're not getting any traction. Let me know in the comments box, give me a hell yeah. Well, actually, no, I haven't got a clue what you're talking about, Wendy. <laughs> Just leave it in the comments box below. That would be awesome. Here's the thing. If that is happening, you absolutely have an internal block. There is something that you have learned that is stopping you from achieving what it is that you want to achieve. There's something going on in the background. Now, of course, the good news is, is that... I'm going to share with you exactly how to get out of your own way and play a much bigger game. You can completely transform your life. It doesn't matter whether you are experiencing a really difficult time or whether you are in full flow. This really is about unlocking your potential. Once you have learned those skills to unlock your potential, you will be able to create a different outcome for yourself. I do this practice every day religiously and I can't tell you express enough how much it has absolutely changed my life. It's changed my life and change some of my clients' lives as well. Because we only have a limited time, I'm going to quickly walk you through this unique process. And I will share with you a little bit later on how we can continue working together. But first of all, let's go into the system, the process, the way of being, the way of doing. I need to find a better word that I have created to help you get unstuck. So I've been self-employed for the last 10 years and I love the freedom it gives me. But the truth is, it wasn't always as freeing and as liberating as it is now because I was so stuck in my past, in my old beliefs, that I found it pretty much impossible to get out of my own way. Now, it took me a long time to realize and to learn that my internal thoughts shape the way I do things and shapes the way I see things, shapes my experiences. It took me a long time to move into what we call a growth mindset. So I very much had a fixed mindset coming from a place of 
fear. I didn't know that there was a different way that I could see things. I was very much all or none, very much one side or the other. Now, daily, I work and I stay in the middle consciously. So I'm consciously awake. I always know what it is that I'm thinking, I'm doing, how I'm responding. Whereas before I had a fixed mindset, which was just paralyzing me and keeping me absolutely 110% stuck. I didn't realize I had a choice. It took me 50 years to realize that I even had a choice, that I could wake up, that I could start to do things differently. It's quite shocking, really. <laughs> it just shows that there is so much, there is so much to learn. It just shows that we get so wrapped up in our own internal way of doing things that if we don't step outside of the, our own box, then things just stay the same. I woke up when I started to listening to a guy called um, Dr. Joe Dispenza. And I had an episode of depression and I was really, really struggling. I read one of his books and it just completely changed my perception on how I saw the world, how I saw that I was reacting to things. Even though I've worked with people for over 30 years, you know, and young people who are at risk, so at the hard hitting end of society. So I was stuck in my limited thinking that is that completely sabotaged my business and my success. Basically, I stayed earning the same amount of money for eight years until I hit breaking points, ended up with depression and severe anxiety. And it wasn't until I started to work with a mindset coach and a money breakthrough coach and a psychiatrist as well, until I really started to understand that I have control over my thoughts. I have control over the way I behave in situations. It's just that I haven't learned the skills to be able to manage my own programming, my own behavior, my own experiences. Did I really start to understand? Yeah, what happened was, I started to understand that I was the problem. The power was locked away within my mind. I just didn't realize that I had a different way that I could do things. So I'll give you a little bit of context to set the scene. So I was taken into care around one and a half. I was drugged on Valium. I was neglected, locked in a cupboard for hours at a time. I moved from children's home to children's home, had countless foster placements, was adopted, that broke down, was abused several times, left care when I was 15 and a half, beaten, raped. And this, it, it goes on and on and on and on. So all of these negative experiences, oh, of course, actually some of the most traumatic experience I think I've experienced is the whole workplace discrimination, bullying around being um, dyslexic. So all of those experiences, they left me with a sense of not being good enough, not being worthy, not very little self-esteem, very little confidence. I used to have a real chip on my shoulder. I couldn't speak to people. I didn't have a voice. If I was in the um, supermarket and someone looked at me, I'd just give them a filthy look as if to say, what the, do you think you're looking at? Because I was so frightened. I was really, really frightened from all of those experiences. Now, I'm not telling you that to shock you, but what I'm trying to show is that there are all these different layers of experiences that have created a lens of how I see things around me. And that lens is, trying to think of a word, that lens, is taint, that lens is tainted. You know, how I'm seeing things is not necessarily 
as they are because I'm seeing things based on those past experiences. I'm not present in this moment, in this second. I was always coming from trauma, the past. So as shocking as it is, I'm sharing my story with you to highlight the many different layers, as I've just said, of um, negative experiences. I have endured and have been laid on top of one another. Now, due to all of that trauma, as I said, I lost my voice, had little confidence, and my self-esteem was pretty much in the gutter. I did not like to speak to people, had a right attitude, a chip on my shoulder. Yes, I remember it well. <laughs> I was frightened all of the time um, and had built a brick wall around myself so no one could get close to me. Pretty hard going. I, I gotta say that uh, who I am now and the freedom I have emotionally is completely different to when I was not fully awake. Um, I think that's the best way to describe it the my past experiences had such a hold on me that it created such a negative energy such um it was a struggle you know it would be a struggle to maintain that level of a barrier so it got to a point where that i felt i wanted to change so much and the place i was in that was so uncomfortable that something gave somewhere. I think probably reading Joe Dispenza's books to be, I think that was a big, a big, big turning point for me. But what I'm trying to say is that level of uncomfortableness that you feel when you're trying to create something new, but you're still getting pulled back and held back by a, a level of, um, Somewhere that you don't want to stay. Okay, I'm going to shut up as I'm rambling. <laughs> the consequence of all this drama played out in my business, hence the reason why I got so stuck. So I'm pleased to say I'm a very different person today from even just a couple of, even just a couple of years ago. I'm much more content, much happier. My, I have not control but I'm fully aware of how I get emotionally triggered you know what brings me down what I should be doing what I shouldn't be doing I the process that I'm going to walk you through to show you this is how I manage my state and my emotional and energetic space I have worked extremely hard at you know, clearing the negative beliefs and the trauma. And I've pretty much created a new personality. I've pretty much created a different way to see and experience things. When you reach this point, it's like a tipping point. When you reach that point of being able to get rid of the old personality, step into a new personality, that's when things around you start to move and you start to experience things very differently. You start to open the world up and you experience more possibilities and opportunities because you have created a different way of, of seeing things. So why can you trust me? Your success to me isn't just about long drawn out strategies. What I'm gonna teach you, what I'm gonna show you is a practice that you can implement every day to be able to get out of your own way. So it won't matter if you're having therapy, if you're having coaching, if you just want to use this for peak performance. It's very easy and clear strategy that you can implement the trick is <laughs> like in all of this is that you've got to do the work <laughs> so i will share the exact steps i've used for myself and my clients to help you get out of your way fast and live a more fulfilling life so i want to help you get your life 
there's two things I want to help with to help people get their life and their business back on track. And the other thing is about unlocking your full potential. So we'll start from wherever you are at. And then what we will do is you'll just continue the practice. As you continue the practice, you then start to move into peak performance. You start to move into opening the door to more opportunities and possibilities. But, so these, these are two different levels of where people are at. In one space, people are stuck. They're experiencing a very, very challenging time. And then the other space is about peak performance. How can I make better, much smarter, much more informed decisions that are gonna take me in the right direction? So I'm a personal performance coach, also a money breakthrough coach, professional motivational, motivational speaker, and soon to be author of the book, Be More Wolf, Empowering Women Regardless of Circumstances. So I specialize in helping and I only work with women to thrive regardless of circumstances and my clients know me for having their back and they work with me time and time again. I've helped thousands of women from all over the world. I'm a qualified coach working in the transformational space for over 30 years. Yes, I know, I know I've put all my knowledge and my experience together from over that 30 years. Yeah, I was actually in two minds whether I should do this and share it with you, but I'm so glad I have. <laughs> so I specialize working with ambitious women who are smart, highly motivated women who are a little bit woo-woo. And basically they are getting in their own way. They have a tendency to play it safe. They work incredibly hard, but they're not making the impact income or progress they truly, truly desire and crave for. Yes, if you ask me to work with you to co-create a more fulfilling life, I have done it time and time again. So I've had some horrendous times over the years and I think the depression and the severe anxiety has absolutely been the worst and to come back out of that quickly to get back on my feet and to now have developed a system or a way of being that I manage my mental health and well-being and my you know my personal performance on a daily basis has just been life-changing and that's what I want to share with you so you can experience that as well. So I've been featured in countless papers, website interviews, front of magazines. So just to give a little bit of credibility. So if you are feeling heavy, life sucks, it's a drag. You know you want something different, but you're not quite sure how to achieve it life, you're just watching life go by in front of you. It could even be now with everything that's going on that you're just not sure what decision to make. With the pandemic, people, we see things a bit skew with because of everything that is going on. This is really about creating a space to move forward quickly, make smarter, much more informed, decisions. So you're doing things consciously rather than coming from a place of stress and anxiety, burnout, you know, all of those heavy, crappy emotions that none of us want to experience. But this, <laughs> so before, <laughs> I have to say this to people because I mentioned this at the beginning and that was that it doesn't mean that you need to go out and buy yet another course, another you know, get stuck into another project. The truth is, is that often that is just a sophisticated way of hiding. The more you speed up, the more you are burying what it is that you really want to achieve. What's happening is the brain is just trying to 
find a solution and it hasn't found it yet, but it's going out and hunting for it. It's going out and looking for it. So you have a tendency to speed up, but actually what you need to do is slow down and stop and start to look at your thoughts, your behavior, how you're reacting to things. Then you can start to actually pick up some speed. But what I'm saying is, hang on a second, don't go investing in other courses when you've invested in courses before and you're not getting any results. So what you've been doing up until this point has not been working. So it's basically time to try something new, try something from a different angle. Whoop. Okay, so I found myself um, pretty much acting like a victim most of the time because I didn't realize, as I said, that I had a choice. I was a prisoner to past experience, nowhere near where I wanted to be. I was unable to get out of my own way. I was focusing on the wrong things. Very little, if anything, is going to change until you start to develop the skills to help you get out of your own way intentionally. So what I figured out was on this amazing self discovery journey was that there's a quick and easy, painless way to figure out exactly what is getting in your way. So no matter where you're starting from or what the issues are, you can sort them out once and for all, stay in momentum, taking inspired action, and you can supercharge your results. Quite amazing. It is actually really amazing. When I think about what I've done, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Sorry, I'm just getting my tea. So I'm going to whisk through this amazing self-discovery journey that I take my clients through in the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox. So this is something that they do every day. So there are four time-tested, proven steps. The first step is creating a roadmap to success. Now, yeah, we've all heard this before, right? But I do this slightly differently. People will always say, you know, just focus in on what it is that you want and the, you know, forget about the stuff you don't want or don't focus any energy on that because if you focus any energy on that, you're just going to get more of it. But here's the thing, when you are looking at when you're looking closely at your behavior, you need to understand how you're gonna get sucked back into what it is that you don't want. We have a habit as humans to retreat back into a place of safety, to retreat back into what is familiar. So on one side of your road map to success, you will have what some of those triggers are, what are the things that you don't absolutely do not want? And what are some of the things you do want? So one path is going to create the same results all of the time. Unhappiness, stuck, not moving, going back to a place of safety. And on the other side, the roadmap to success, you're going to have what it is that you want to achieve. What are you uh, aiming towards. Now, the other spin on this that I like to use is that this is about creating experiences. This is about emotions and energy. It's not just about, I want to, I want a Ferrari. Okay, you might want a Ferrari, that's absolutely fine. It's much more about emotional experiences that you can step into rather than getting drawn back into the negative. So there's some, there's an emotional connection to those experiences. Because trust me, what is going to happen on this amazing self-discovery journey is that you're going to retreat back into a place of safety. 
And sometimes it can take a while for you to pop your head up and realize that's what you've done. Perfectly natural. That's why it's so important to have what it is that you don't want. And I always teach my clients to go sideways rather than trying to, to get back out of it because it takes too much energy to move away from what it is that you don't want, but you can, like a crab, you can go sideways and move into what it is that you do want. I hope I explained that okay. So that is the first stepping stone. The second stepping stone, now you know what you don't want and what you do want and how you can get stuck in that emotional vortex of what it is that you don't want. The second step is the conscious coaching reflective practice. And this is something I'm gonna talk a bit more about in a second. So this is how we discover what is unconsciously keeping us stuck because we're starting to explore our feelings of what we're getting up to on a daily basis from a place of detachment, not getting heavily involved in what it is that you're up to, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna identify patterns of behavior that you can start to take a look at and clear. So the third step is to go through a self-coaching practice, a self-coaching ritual to help you clear what it is that it, what it is that is getting in your way. So it's a process that you can go to to help you understand why it is that you're behaving the way it is that you're behaving, why you're getting the same outcomes. What is it in your past and your personality and your beliefs and your behavior that's actually keeping you stuck? Why is that? What's caused that? There will always be something in an experience that has caused it. But what we do here is we address, first of all, what we are, are consciously aware of. And then once we've cleared that out, something else is gonna come up. Might not come up for a while. It will feel so liberating that you've actually got rid of that block and cleared it out, that emotional trigger, whatever it is, because you've, you've, you've started to understand it and clear it. The fourth step is to help you manage your mind, to help you manage the internal chatter we all experience. So it is about practicing conscious coaching pattern interrupters to help you manage what it is that you're going to discover in the third step. It's personal and unique to you. <laughs> I'm explaining that very well. <laughs> what we're doing is we're moving forward. We're staying in the now and moving forward while bringing the past with us and allowing it to catch up so we can understand it and reshape our thoughts, the way we see things, the way we experience things. And the pattern interrupters are, are to help us manage our thoughts, manage our internal world. Because that inner self talk, that inner dialogue is, can be hard going. It can be hard going. And you need to have strategies to help you manage what it is that you're saying to yourself, what it is that you're thinking. It's actually much easier. Once you get into it, it's much easier than it sounds. Okay, here's the magic. <laughs> this is the magic. <laughs> this is incredible. So it starts with creating the conscious coaching unique roadmap to success. And that's about empowering you to get out of your own way, consciously creating a new path to success, leading to a happier, more fulfilling life. It's about recognizing the good as the bad, as I said, not just about the good. Like anything in life, we need to have a clear direction we are heading in. Over time, what happens is you start to bring the unconscious into the conscious, you start to move in a different direction, and you're no longer stuck in experiencing Groundhog Day. 
you start to become more in tune with what is sabotaging your success and are able to quickly get out of your own way faster. It'll help you make the right decisions for where you are at. Then we move on into the Conscious Coaching Reflective Practice. So this is going to help you identify the blind spots, what limiting beliefs you have, what's really holding you back. As I said, it's about finding that pattern of behavior so you can take a look at it, so you can find the perfect solution, which is going to help you feel inspired, motivated, and you're going to be constantly moving forward. So you won't be staying stuck. You cannot change what you are not aware of, right? Absolutely. You cannot change what you are not aware of. Now, you might think you know what it is that is keeping you stuck, but do you really? Because I'm pretty sure if you knew what it was, you would have sorted it out by now. These things only reveal themselves when we are really ready to, to make a difference in our lives, that we are really committed and we are not stepping into that place of sophisticatedly sabotaging, hiding out and sabotaging our success. We have to really dig deep. In business, this is absolutely for me has been the most challenging thing that I've had to do is my is manage my own mindset and to manage my own state. The conscious coaching reflective practice is an incredibly powerful way to discover exactly how you are sabotaging your success. Hmm. Something is not right. Conscious coaching roadmap to success. Yeah, conscious coaching, reflective practice. And then this one should be about the pattern interrupters. And the pattern interrupters are designed to help you manage your thoughts. So there's different strategies that you can use to turn down the volume of what it is that is keeping you stuck, your ego, how it's, how it's playing out. So it, there is, let's just go through the steps. This is the conscious coaching reflective practice. So this is something that you do every day. And this exercise is incredibly powerful. Okay, so there are five steps. The first is in flow. We always start with in flow. What have you enjoyed throughout the day? And we identify three things. So three things that have kept you in flow. What creates really great energy? What makes you happy? Then we look at what's taking you out of flow. Three things again. What's drained your energy? What do you hate doing? What makes you unhappy? You can do more, and on some days you'll have more, and on other days you'll, you might just have one. But I have a thing about three and five, so three it is. <laughs> Next, we make three bullet points of what you need to do to get out of your own way. Now, what we're not doing here is we're not looking to resolve what it is that we are saying. What we are doing on a daily basis is just bringing our attention to the things keep us in flow, take us out of flow. What do I need to do to get out of my way? What starts to happen by the end of the week is you've got a pattern of things that get in your way that are showing up more than once that are of the same thing. So then, of course, what you do then is you have a look at your conscious coaching journaling, self-journaling practice, and then you pick out the one that has been mentioned the most, and then it, you take yourself through the self-coaching practice it is that I teach you to clear it out, to let it go, to create a different way of doing things, to understand what is really going on, what's really been sabotaging your success, what is really getting in your way. 
So what negative self-talk do you have playing out? What has to change that you haven't dealt with yet? What are you doing that should that you should not be doing? As you're doing this, you'll be asking yourself questions. You can start off with a list of questions, but you'll be asking yourself questions. Okay, what am I, what am I doing that's really getting in my way? Then we wanna make a note of what you can do to put your best foot forward. Remember, we are not looking to resolve this here. We're looking to just bring our attention to it mindfully and write it down. So at the end of the week, we can take a look at everything that we have noted down in our daily practice. So best foot forward. What can you do today to put your best foot forward? How can you meet yourself halfway? What do you need to let go of? Then we want to, three things again, although mine is never three things with this, it's always a lot more, um, to acknowledge the small things that we have achieved during the day. It could be eating a cake, it could be going for a walk, it could be going for a bike ride, it could be finishing a big piece or a small piece of work. This is really significant and really important to acknowledge the steps that you are doing throughout the day. Oh, that slides the wrong way around. Okay, <laughs> so these are the steps that you go through on a daily basis, which helps you to quickly identify what you believe is getting in your own way. You can take a look at your daily practice at the end of the week, and then you pick out one thing that has been playing up the most for you, getting in your way the most, and then you take yourself through the self-coaching ritual. Then you implement the pattern interrupters, which help you manage those negative self, the negative self-talk, the negative beliefs, while being mindful about your roadmap to success, to see make sure you're actually heading in the right direction and you haven't slipped back into what I call the vortex of negative emotions, negative experiences. You'll go to and fro, depending on what's happening in, in your life and the situation it is that you are experiencing. Okay, so this is the self-coaching ritual. Oh, it's going on. Slides are the wrong way around. That's not very helpful. So let's just go through those. These are the four cornerstones, basically. The conscious coaching roadmap to success, the conscious coaching daily practice, the conscious self-coaching ritual, and the conscious self-coaching pattern interrupters. I've used the word conscious a lot here. That's because we do this piece of work consciously. We are awake when we are doing it. We're not, we want to be a, as awake as possible and not um, just doing things on automatic pilot. We want to start thinking about why we're thinking and doing what it is that we're doing the way we're doing it. So my secret sauce, after 30 years of working with people and taking myself through the own, my own experiences and recovering from trauma and lots of other icky things, there are four pillars, I would say, that make up the toolbox. That is conscious coaching, self-coaching, so being awake and learning the skills to self-coach yourself. What that will do is it will help you build that resilience muscle so you can bounce back much more quickly, you can make better decisions for yourself and you can start taking inspired action. Now, inspired action is when you are fully awake, when you have explored what's triggered how you're feeling, 
when you have decided to do things slightly differently, that is inspired action. So inspired action happens when you understand things more fully. You're not doing something from a place of automatic pilot without thinking about it, without thinking about the consequence of it. You are taking inspired action intentionally. And I wrap this up with a high level of accountability and one-to-one -one because the ego is sneaky. <laughs> it is very sneaky. It likes to keep you safe. And what it will do is it will try and move you back over to that, to the roadmap of what it is that you don't want because that is a place of safety, it's familiar. So the accountability keeps you motivated on track I have your back. I connect and reach out to you every week to see where you are at, what's going on. This practice is absolutely 100% not for you if you just want to get the same results day in and day out. It's not for you if you aren't motivated. You keep, you want the status quo, you are happy to settle for average. You're happy to just watch life go by and not do anything about it. And you're not motivated or committed to even make a positive impact in your life, in your family's life, in your career or in your business. And you don't believe that you can change and create a more fulfilling life. It is absolutely not for you. There are so many benefits to the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox. I'm not gonna go through them all. You can have a look at them on the website. I did a big video recently, which was just, and this isn't all of them, 32 personal benefits of self-coaching. And that's from my experience of self-coaching myself and working with my clients, the transformations we've seen and I have experienced personally. Okay, so what I've done is I've brought together a five-week one-on-one VIP immersion and normally the price would be 997. For the next three days, you are gonna be able to get hold of it for 299. Seven. Let me tell you what is included in the toolbox. What, it, what is it that you're actually going to get? First thing I need to tell you is that it's fully guaranteed for peace of mind. If you're not satisfied within five days, you can get a full refund, no questions asked. You are going to get access to the Four step system. Four step system. God, that's just not right, is it? <laughs> Plus accountability. So you're going to get access to a personalized Trello board, which we can use to communicate with straight away. You're going to get 24 hour seven support. I'm going to be checking in with you every week. You're going to fill in an application form, a questionnaire, I should say. That's gonna come back to me and then I'm gonna come back to you and provide personal coaching and mentoring to make sure that you are in momentum and on track. So who does it work best for? So I specialize in working with, with women. I don't work with guys, sorry guys. You can... <laughs> It always feels wrong when I say that. <laughs> um, so if you're stuck, you don't know um, why that is, you think you know why, but nothing changes. Maybe you're wanting to increase your personal performance at work. You're just not happy and want to create a more meaningful and fulfilling life. You're struggling to grow the business the way you want to. So it's really designed for you to look at what those blocks are and to navigate around them, to understand them and to navigate around them. So it brings you into a position where you are aware of what's caused it and then you can create and make a new decision to move you forward. So it works best for people who are stuck, 
who are stuck and want to move into peak performance, always making the best decisions, always moving forward, being able to manage their emotions much more effectively. How much time will you need? Well, the truth is it depends on how committed you are, really. I always say you wanna spend about five minutes a day doing your daily reflective practice so you can pull out those patterns of behavior. Then you want to spend about 30 minutes just doing your roadmap to success. Also, you want to, at the end of the week, to be pulling out what is it you want to take in a closer look at, what is it that you want to explore, and then take half an hour to have a look at that, to have a proper look at it. So you can be clearing out and looking at one thing a week. The transformation, moving forward, the difference it will make in your life will be phenomenal. Then, of course, you've got the pattern interrupters, which you can just do during the week. So it really, it really depends on how committed you are to looking at much more deeply what is going on in your internal world rather than your external world. So it's going to create a space for you to really get to know yourself, really get to know yourself well, and to bring more confidence, more inner peace, more fulfillment, more joy, so it's about creating a really deep, fulfilling connection to self. So I've got a list here. I really don't want to go through a list. Going through lists with people online isn't, isn't a really great idea. And I think I've pretty much covered them. As I said, the price at the moment is 297. You'll be able to get hold of that of the toolbox plus the one-to-one -one accountability and mentoring for the next three days. It will be, then be increasing back up to 997. As I said, you can get your money back within five days if you are not happy. And what I will give you access to is a personalized Trello board, which we can use to communicate with one another if you get stuck if you have any questions I can come back to you and make sure that you are on track and doing whatever it is that you need to be doing to keep you in momentum so if you've got any questions just pop them below that would be awesome I'll also leave the link below as well so you can
Okay, so what's included? Of course, you're going to get access to the four cornerstones, the four key cornerstones that are pivotal to your success. They go in this order, they can't be mixed up in an, any other order. You're firstly going to get the conscious coaching unique roadmap to success, followed by the conscious coaching reflective practice, followed by the conscious self-coaching ritual. <laughs> and then finally, the pattern interrupters. Once you have this as a framework, it might sound overwhelming at the moment, but it's really not. This is a daily practice that you can just do five minutes a day. Plus, you are going to have access to a, an orientation call. Plus, you're going to have access to an orientation call so we can show you how to use your personalized Trello board so you can become familiar with it and get the best out of it. You're also going to have four high level accountability check in check ins, one a week, which is when you fill out. You're also So what's included in the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox and one-to-one -one mentoring? You are gonna get access to the training videos, the workbooks in a personalized Trello board for you. You will have access to the four Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox cornerstones. Plus you're also going to have an orientation call so you can become familiar with Trello and make sure that you understand how to use it, how you can ask questions and get feedback. You will also have four high level accountability check-in, check-ins once, one, once a week, plus online training and access to a coaching hub with 24 hour seven support. And that is all for the price of £297. The price will be increasing shortly.